Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now today, I have our tillandsia, or one of our tillandsias, commonly known as the air plants, in gorgeous flower, guys. And um, I actually, I have got the name of this plant somewhere, and I'm going to put the name down below as I am talking now, because I'm hopeless at pronouncing names. So um, this is the name of this tillandsia here. It is gorgeous, and um, it has the most beautiful pink flower coming out the middle and it has a gorgeous gorgeous lovely big um flower head coming out there in the most gorgeous of lilac purple color and a lovely yellow stigma with a yellow pollen and the contrast between the lovely pinky almost like a salmony pink um the flower head and the and the beautiful lilac purple flower coming out the middle is absolutely stunning and i'll just try and get the lighting may not be the best today to film this but the flowers don't look their best for too long so hopefully you get a bit of an idea of what this beauty looks like i'll just turn it round so you can see it there as well it is gorgeous and these amazing air plants are nicknamed air plants because they can grow literally in air but they do still need to be watered even if it's just a bit of a spraying every couple of days with a bit of uh, ideally rainwater. Um, or a low nutrient type of feed. They take the nutrients from the air and we do fertilise these as well once a month with a special air plant fertiliser that's in a little mister form that we mist, we give them a good misting with. And uh, we have a few of these, a selection of these all growing on this, this little moss pole here, all different varieties. And um, this one here is the Xerographica, which is one of the largest air plants. There's many different types, all different uh, sizes. And this one is sort of one of the more larger ones, sort of resembles a little bit of an octopus. <laughs> it's uh, gorgeous. And I just said show you when you go closely, they have a bit of a coating over them, like a bit of a sort of very pale sort of silvery white coating. And that's actually what actually takes in the nutrients from the air. So it's quite remarkable. And there's another one, this has been flowering now for a good while. I actually had a go at pollinating these. And I think that may be a bit of a success. It looks like there possibly could be seed forming. I'm not too sure. We're still new to Tillantias, so we're not 100%. But keep our fingers crossed. But we just wanted to show you this beauty here. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? That lighting might be a bit better there now. Absolutely beautiful flower. And it's not often you see these in flower. They're sort of... Quite an oddity, but very beautiful too. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of flower and plant power. As always, from Ireland, and until the next video, bye.